Children under 18 make up more than one third of the world's population. In 2017, there were approximately 2.5 billion children, and on current trends, another 2 billion will be born by 2025. In New South Wales alone, there are currently 1.7 million children. In numbers alone, children are central to the world we live in, as they make up a large and important part of society. Investing in children is both an opportunity and a duty. It is an opportunity because of the gains achieved through better nutrition, healthcare, education and protection are likely to be far greater and longer lasting than those in almost any other area. And it is our duty because children everywhere have human rights from the very beginning of their lives. These rights include the right to survive and develop, to be protected from violence, abuse and exploitation, to have their views respected and have actions concerning them to be taken in their best interests. These rights are found in a number of treaties and international standards, most importantly in the 1989 Convention on the Rights of the Child, CRC. The CRC matters more than many people imagine. For one, in recognising that children have rights, it becomes the government's responsibility to respect, protect and fulfil these rights, rather than an optional act of charity or kindness. The CRC binds governments to a set of internationally accepted human rights articles that must be followed. This means that people who work for the government must consider and apply the provisions of the CRC in all aspects of their work affecting children. The CRC provides a way to monitor government's progress on children's rights and a basis for children's organisations, advocates and children themselves to argue for change. Full implementation of the CRC goes a long way to ensuring that each child's entitlement to equality, dignity and respect is upheld. There's been a long-standing focus on protecting vulnerable children as a charitable response to suffering. However, at the start of the 20th century, some activists started promoting the idea that children should have rights. In 1924, with the aftermath of the First World War, Eglantine Jebb and others campaigned for the first international declaration of the rights of the child. During the International Year of the Child in 1979, Poland proposed that there should be a convention for children. Over the next decade, countries around the world debated and negotiated the text of what would become the most widely supported human rights treaty the UN ever produced. The United